Dead meme. Hey there again. It's uh, time to play some more Astro Colony. Last time, or the last video I made, showed the automated asteroid catching. And basically that's being fed into a simple sorting system in order to fuel the power systems and some smelting, uh, water and oxygen production. But what we're going to talk about today is how to connect your station to one of these land masses that are kind of floating out here in space, these weird little uh, these weird little islands. And if we can do a scan, as you can see, there's lots of minerals in them. So it's definitely worth doing because uh, the asteroid resources don't provide uh, uranium, titanium, and aluminum, at least uh, that I've been able to notice. So I'm just going to run over here and show you that there's more than one kind of connection that you could choose. You could build a dock on the other side, just like this little one here. This is obviously a, a bit more cheaper. But the first thing you need to do is you're going to need to get close enough to one of these guys to dock. So that guy over there, Davis Core, we're going to make a play for him. So if you push M on the map here, I've got him targeted with this button. It highlights him, so it puts that little information out there in the world, just so you could see him on the HUD. Now, uh, I don't have the technology yet researched that allows you to just click on it and fly there. And if we do it that way, uh, you're not going to learn about the thrusters. So I've got like a little thruster junction here. This is how I'm going to move the station. Uh, I know, uh, it's, it does not seem very physics... Um, uh, physics compliance, but it is a video game, so settle down, guys. Alright, so we're going to turn this thruster on, and you'll notice we start moving. Now, it's kind of counterintuitive. If I go up, it, it would make you feel the thruster wants to make the platform go down, but it actually kind of goes up. So if you look at like the thrust coming out of the back of the thruster, it gives you an idea of like what direction we're actually traveling in. So... I'm basically just going to line this up with that station there. I'm going to prepare a um, a dock. I'll show that to you. But for the most part, you're just going to kind of choose a thruster that's facing in the desired direction. See, I want it to go left. So let's see if this is going the right way. It is not. See? Counterintuitive. So we'll just look at Davis Core a bit more. Yeah, and we're moving in on it. So I'm going to come back when I'm a little bit closer because I don't think you want to watch me pilot this giant chunk of rock over there. All right, since we're well on our way, I've kind of piloted the station to a more desirable kind of space. And if you're running your um, your jetpack, you don't have to worry about like the, the thing leaving you behind. I think the world moves, not the player. But that's uh, kind of outside of what we're talking about. So we've aimed this thing pretty close. And if we look at what my thruster is doing, I have it going straight ahead, but I still need to come up a bit. So just to kind of show you what I mean, we've altered the thrust. We'll come down. And as you can see, we're slowly rising. We're getting a little bit closer to what we would like to line up because you're going to need to be able to build on the other island. So that being said, I'm just going to uh, cut again when we get a bit closer and I'm ready to show you the next part. All right, so we're pretty close. We may need to maneuver a bit closer, but we're going to move on to the next step here. You have two choices for docking with these little islands. If you go with the harpoon, it's a little bit cheaper. You don't require like as many plates, but it requires energy. This dock uh, not only does it allow you to call astronauts, but you can connect planets to each other. So you're going to need to at least have a manufactory available to make the copper plates. Because if we look in our inventory crafting, uh, copper plates is not one of the options. So I'll just jump over there and show it to you. This one's a Mark II version. A Mark I is just fine. If you look in the crafting menu, um, I'm going to need to make these plates. So I'm going to allow that construction to occur. And it does have copper bars. So what's going on here? is an infinite number of copper bars or copper plates we made with the bars that I'm supplying it. So this machine's being fed by my little warehouse. Uh, a lot of other things are going on here. But we're just going to allow this thing to 
build these plates. It's going to ship them over here. I'll turn off the wire construction so that I can store them. And we'll be back. All right, so we're here to give her a shot. We've got enough to build the, the dock. I'll just pop it down there. I'll turn on my thing. There's a fair probability we're going to need to... Uh, as you can see, there's little spots there. It shows you where you would be able to... We're probably going to have to get a little bit closer, but let's take a look. Dock. Yeah, it's slightly too far, so we'll just continue to maneuver a bit closer. So, we'll turn that on. We want to come down just a little bit. And we'll see if that is close enough. Oh, <laughs> And there we go. So simple enough. Once you get close enough, you can just ask it to kind of autopilot it. So I'll let this thing do its thing. We'll move on to the next part that I would like to talk about. As you can see, I've got stuff coming from the other island. And it's important to use the correct um, UI components within this machine in order to actually... Uh, supply in and out right so if i turn that off that like i'm unable to run a conveyor belt across you need to interconnect these via these docks or they don't do anything and they operate very strangely same with electricity if there's a way to transmit electricity across i probably just haven't unlocked it yet but for the most part like if i come over here and show you i've got a small mining operation going on here but i've had to supply it its own power and if there's a way to get around that, I just don't know what it is yet. So that is probably a future video. So let's look at this UI. So in this bigger dock, you can have an in and out uh, of up to four. So you can have, uh, well, whatever you want. If you want four in, you want four out, or you want to mix and match. So let's see, we want uh, one out and one in. So. I can pump stuff into this island if I decided to do so, or I can have things come out through whatever network I decide to build. So more than likely, you're going to ask, uh, why would you go through this trouble? Well, I'll show you. Okay, so in the map screen here, you get here by pushing M, and you can click on the ones that are visible to you, and it'll tell you what's on them. So let's, uh, let's see, uh, Davis Core was the one I went to. So let's actually just scan it and we'll see, we'll see why I came here. Look at all that minerals and look at how many different types. That's why I came to this one and that's why I bothered building a, uh, a dock because I do intend to build a whole bunch of little miner drones and just kind of strip mine this thing. It does look kind of pretty. Maybe I'll keep it and do something else with it. There is terraforming in the game, but we're we we're leaving the um, we're leaving what the topic of the video is. So we'll just quickly review. You push M. You look for the planet that you would like to actually uh, dock with. You can hit this button and it'll throw it in the HUD. So you can look for him. Uh, let me see. I've got so many now. <laughs> Zeolin, that's the one. So if I wanted to get down to that one, I would have to come to my little thruster complex because at this time I do not have the um, the automated navigation unlocked. And of course the direction the thruster is facing matters. You will use the reticle here in order to decide which direction to go. If you want to go down, you have to hit down. Once a station is docked, did you notice everything seems to kind of be floating upwards? So basically, if the stations are docked with these planetoids through the docking rings, they'll stick with you. You can drag them with you. So I've turned on the down thruster, and I'm starting to make my way toward Zeolin. And if you want to go to the right a little bit, you're going to have to kind of hit right. So like this isn't like a... This isn't the, the direction that the thruster is going to move the station in. It's kind of slightly disorientating. Keep in mind, more than one thruster running. So if I were to run this one, I would move 
that way a lot quicker depending on the setup I decided to go with. And of course you can turn them off. I recommend doing that when you don't have a target in mind. Your docks will have several uh, depending on the type you use in and outs. You could choose to construct deconstruct. Uh, you will require to use these to pump minerals or resources back and forth. Uh, my drones will not cross these thresholds. I, uh, if there's a way to make them do it, I don't know how. That's probably a future unlock. And of course, uh, build a dock on both sides, get close enough, and the dock fun function will be highlighted and they'll be drawn right in. So other than that, I'm pretty sure uh, the a video we can cover is building the automated miners. Let's take a look. So my little mining drones are out here. They're looking around for minerals. There's a good example of it. So rather than me uh, spending all the time to mine these, well, they're taking care of it. But hopefully that was helpful, and I'll see you all again real soon.